क्वेश्चन इज गिवन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एट सो वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस नंबर हाउ वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस नंबर लेट्स सी सोल्यूशन स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एट इज इक्वल टू ना स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू सो वी कैन राइट दिस इज स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री वी कैन राइट एज इट इज सो स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर वी कैन राइट हेयर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू 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 जो फोर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ फोर प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ सिक्स दिस सिक्स वी कैन राइट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू टाइम्स स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री डिवाइडेड बाय स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ वन दैट इज वन प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ एट इज फोर टू जो एट फोर times टू right? Now is equal to square root of टू plus square root of थ्री plus square root of टू times square root of टू plus square root of टू times square root of थ्री divided by वन plus square root of थ्री plus this is square root of फोर so we can separate this term square root of फोर times square root of टू Now is equal to. You can see here square root of two plus square root of three. Here square root of two. Here square root of two. So we can take common here square root of two. We are taking common square root of two. Right. Now we are taking square root of uh, two common. So left term that is. This is square root of two, right? Square root of two times square root of two plus square root of two times square root of three. So we can take common here square root of two. Left term that is square root of two. Plus square root of three, right? Now, left term that is square root of two plus square root of three. So we can write this plus square root of two plus square root of three divided by one plus square root of three plus this is square root of four. Square root of four value of square root of four is two. So this is two times square root of two. Now is equal to We can write this term square root of two plus square root of three plus square root of two times square root of two plus square root of three divided by one plus square root of three plus this is two square root of two so we can write here square root of two plus square root of two. That is two times square root of two is equal to. Now you can see square root of two plus square root of three. Here is square root of two plus square root of three. So we can take common this term. So here is square root of two plus square root of three. And next term that is one. Here one. So one plus square root of two. One plus square root of two divided by one plus square root of two plus square root of two. Plus square root of three, right? Now is equal to. Now we can write this one: one plus square root of two, one plus square root of two times square root of two plus square root of three, divided by one plus square root of two. This one plus here square root of two. This one plus square root of three, right? Now you can see here one plus square root of two square root of two plus square root of three same term is in numerator and denominator so we can consider here consider e equal to one plus square root of two one plus square root of two is equal to a and b equal to next term that is square root of two plus square root of three square root of two plus square root of three. X is equal to if we are considering this term whole term that is x, so we can say x is equal to one plus square root of two times square root of two plus square root of three divided by 
वन प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू टाइम्स सॉरी प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टू प्लस स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री नाउ we already considered that 1 plus square root of 2 is equal to a and square root of 2 plus square root of 3 is equal to b so we can write here x is equal to a times b upon a plus b a plus b right now x is equal to a upon b times uh, divided by a plus b so if you are doing 1 upon x here 1 upon x is equal to then we got this value in inverse form so here it will become a plus b divided by ab now 1 upon x is equal to we can write we are separating this term so we will get here a upon a plus b plus b upon ab right a upon ab plus b upon ab now a is cancel from this a and b is cancel from this b so here is equal to we can write 1 upon b plus 1 upon a this is value of 1 upon x here so we already considered that a is equal to a is equal to 1 plus square root of 2 and b is equal to square root of 2 plus square root of 3 according to equation 1 and 2 right equation 1 and 2 so according to equation 1 and 2 we already considered this value so if we are substituting this value in this equation so we will get here 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon b value of b is square root of 2 plus square root of 3 so square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus 1 upon a 1 upon a a is 1 plus square root of 2 One plus square root of two, right? So we can write this one upon. We are taking a big term that is square root of three. Big number square root of three plus square root of two. We can write this way. Plus here one upon square root of two plus one, right? We can write this way. Now we have to multiply here with conjugate pair pair of this number in numerator and denominator. So we can see here multiply with conjugate pair so if we are multiplying with conjugate pair we will get here 1 upon x is equal to 1 upon this is square root of 3 plus square root of 2 square root of 3 plus square root of 2 times conjugate pair of this number is square root of 3 minus square root of 2 divided by square root of 3 minus square root of 2 right now next one is plus so plus 1 upon square root of 2 plus 1 multiply by again conjugate pair of this number so square root of 2 minus 1 divided by square root of 2 minus 1 right now is equal to now we can write this one 1 times square root of 3 minus square root of uh, 2 so it will become square root of 3 minus square root of 2 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 2 square root of 3 minus square root of 2 uh, so it will you can see it will uh, it is a form of a plus b a minus b so a plus b a minus b is equal to a square minus b square this is formula so we are using that formula here so a square minus b square a square is here square root of 3 so here a square that is square root of 3 whole square minus b square that is square root of 2 whole square right a square minus b square Plus in next term, so here one times square root of two minus one, so square root of two minus one divided by same formula a plus b a minus b. So a square minus b square a is square root of two and b is one. So a square that is square root of two whole square minus one square a square minus b square. You can write here one upon x is equal to square root of three. Minus square root of two divided by square root of three and here square. So square is cancelled from square root. Same here square is cancelled from square root. So it will become three minus two. Three minus two plus square root of two minus one divided by square is cancelled from square root. Square uh, here this is one square. So it will be same value that is one. So two minus one. 
therefore 1 upon x is equal to square root of 3 minus square root of 2 divided by 3 minus 2 is 1 plus square root of 2 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 is 1 right so we got here denominator same value so we can write here 1 upon x is equal to square root of 3 minus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 minus 1 right now minus square root of 2 plus square root of 2 so it will become cancelled so we can say 1 upon x is equal to square root of 3 minus 1 this is the value of 1 upon x if we are taking here x so x is equal to then it will become 1 upon square root of 3 minus 1 right now x is equal to 1 upon square root of 3 minus 1 now again we have to multiply with conjugate pair of this number square root of 3 minus 1 so when we are multiplying with this number conjugate pair of this number so it will become square root of 3 plus 1 divided by square root of 3 plus 1 right now is equal to 1 upon so here 1 times square root of 3 plus 1 so it will become square root of 3 plus 1 divided by a minus b a plus b that is a square minus b square so a is square root of 3 a square minus b square that is 1 square x x is equal to square root of 3 plus 1 divided by square is cancelled from square root so 3 minus and square of 1 that is 1 3 minus 1 right so x is equal to square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 is 2 so this is the value of x right this is the solution so we can say our question that is given square root of 2 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 4 plus square root of 6 divided by square root of 1 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 8 is equal to square root of 3 plus 1 divided by 2. This is the solution for this question. Thank you.